Industry is an important source of employment, accounting for almost 500 million jobs worldwide, or about a fifth of the world's workforce. Manufacturing industries and their related services sectors can absorb large numbers of workers, provide them with stable jobs and good benefits, and increase the prosperity of their families and communities. An efficient agro-industry enhances economic stability for rural households, increases food security, and helps economic transformation. In December 2013, UNIDO member states adopted the Lima Declaration which focuses on inclusive and sustainable industrial development. This declaration will shape the future operations, spirit and directions of UNIDO for many years to come. It's very important that at this juncture of history of UNIDO, when you talk about industrialization, it is just one of the many tools that got to be, that will come into play in seeing to it what the countries will try to achieve. And this is really basically an inclusive, sustainable development. But these concepts, these twin concepts, have yet to be fully stressed out. And this is the value of discussions here. We want to find a development that is really going towards the citizen, the human being. Because it cannot only be that it is a development only for the industry, only for the economy. If we say sustainable and inclusive, what we mean is that we have to put into it all the different factors of life of human being. That is today, of course, the social cohesion. That means uh, employment for people. Employment then again uh, brings, of course, uh, possibilities for growth, possibilities for getting out of poverty. We also have to have cleaner production. Then we have to also respect biodiversity. And this is what we mean by saying inclusive. And when I say sustainable, it means that this should really last. It's really a definition that is very, very important in trying to produce the level of you know, disparity between the very wealthy and the very poor. So any development program, especially one that relates to industrialization, which is seen as a key pillar for generating wealth, should aim to make sure that everybody is included. Those that are poor, those that are disadvantaged society members, like women in the past, the disabled people, the youth people, only that way will a development program be meaningful. There is a strong call today for integrating the economic dimension and the role of industry in particular into the global post-2015 development priorities. First of all, every country must achieve a higher level of industrialization in their economies and benefit from the globalization of markets for industrial goods and services. No one should be left behind in benefiting from industrial growth and prosperity should be shared among women and men in all countries. Broader economic and social growth must be supported within an environmentally sustainable framework. New approaches are needed to globally harness and share available knowledge, technology and innovation. Finally, all of this should be supported through multi-stakeholder partnerships. Abre una gran oportunidad para hablar de inclusión, para hablar de desarrollo sostenible, para crear la agenda que requerimos para que en cada uno de nuestros países podamos desarrollar esa inclusión que tanto requerimos, con una visión de que hemos sido muy exitosos en la apertura comercial, pero también necesitamos políticas claras que promuevan nuestro desarrollo industrial y que den una respuesta clara al empleo y a la disminución de la pobreza. The world needs inclusive and sustainable industrial development to do its part in seizing the moment and contributing to the common good.